been working on the crate. So what I'm looking for is, it's a little hard to see in the crate, but for him to be sitting. Good boy, good. Search. I'm gonna toss a treat when he sits. Good boy. And when I open it, this is a little hard to do. I have the pillow out of there so he can see the treats I dropped. And I'm just looking for him to stay in there. Search. Good. As I'm opening the door, instead of pawing and trying to push his way out. Okay, looking for him to sit again. Good boy. Search. Good boy. I'm going to wait till he looks again, because that's when he's actually going to start oops, making a decision. So I'm just going to shut the door if he tries to come out. Search. Good. And I'm looking for him to stay in there when I open the door. This is going to help reduce the jumping, because he's having to uh, calm himself down a little bit before he comes out of his crate. Good boy. Good. So I'd like him waiting until I release him. Search. Good. So when he sits, I'm going to throw a search cookie again. Good boy. I'm gonna wait till he looks so that he's actually making that decision and not just distracted looking for treats. Search. Good boy. They're bouncing a little further back than I'd like. He's making really a couple really good choices here. Good. So I'm gonna shut the door again, open it, search. Because a lot of times if they've been um, if they've kind of learned to go dashing out every time you shut the door. Search. You can see if I just leave the door open, he's staying in there pretty well. But the when I shut the door, his inclination is as soon as it opens, he wants to come dashing out again. Search. And I'm catching him a little bit before he does that, but that can be difficult for them. So I'm going to shut the door quick, open it. So there he came out, so he's going to get nothing for that. Come on, Alice. Come on, buddy. Go in your house. Go kennel. Thank you. Good boy. Good. Wait for him to sit. Good boy. Good. Search. Good boy. And that time I opened the door and he stayed in there. So if he comes out, he gets nothing. If he stays in when I open the door, search. Good. Good. And eventually I'll look for him to stay sitting. For right now, if I shut the door and open it and he stays in there, I am happy with that. Search. Good boy. Excellent choice. Good job, Atlas. Good. And all of this is the precursor to not jumping when you come out because we're getting him to show a lot more self-control and calm himself down a lot before he ever comes out of the crate. So he's not coming out with such intensity. So there he came out. Come on. This is all a work in progress, so nothing if he comes out. No treats anyway. And if he stays in there... Search. Good boy. Then he gets some treats. And I'm tossing those treats on the ground in his crate to build value for staying in that crate. I want the good things, search, to happen to come from that crate. Good boy. So now we'll do one where he, search. Good. He just sits. Search. Good job. And then do a door shut again. can see every time I shut the door, he's a lot more inclined to go kennel, go kennel. He's holding still and not coming out really, really well if I leave the door open. Come here, come on, go kennel. Thank you. He's got that down. He's been staying really well, but closing the door changes the game a bit. So now we're working on that. Search. Good boy. Good. 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 Search. Good. Now when I call him to come out, come. Yes, good. This is teaching him that when you come out, I'd like you to come out and be thinking about sitting instead of jumping. Good, good boy. Good job. Good. You want to go do it again? Okay, go hit him. Excellent. And I'm not going to combine um, the door being closed and coming out and sitting yet. 
because it can be hard to put all those pieces together when he gets a little bit more excited about the door closing. Come. Yes. Excellent work. Good. So we're just going to practice come out and sit, come out and sit. Good boy, Atlas. 